Hi, so from the first two videos, you get a pretty good first impression of how the transformer is in terms of its hardware and the software. But you probably didn't really get the feeling that it's too different from the Transformer 1. And in the video here, I'm going to show you a few things that really makes the Transformer probably stand out. Um, so the first thing you'll notice is that the transition effect, such as the long press, the customization menu, as well as things like the app drawer, or just uh, swiping between the windows is a lot more smoother than before. Um, which just makes the whole user experience really, really comfortable. Um, and aside from the UI changes, um, a few apps has also increased in its performance. Uh, for example, if you were not that happy with the uh, default browser experience, uh, I'm happy to tell you that the Opera browser has improved in its uh, performance by quite a bit. So uh, it's probably the closest browser experience you'll find compared to an iPad. So you can see the scrolling and everything is now very smooth and also things like the pinch to zoom is just really responsive and really fast. It's just overall a really nice browsing experience. And also uh, things like clicking you get this nice box uh, effect so you know that you have clicked on something. In my opinion it's just a much better browser at this point compared to the default browser and I'm waiting to see if the uh, browser ice cream sandwich step up to the game. Okay so there's browser and um, I also like to show you the PDF file rendering speed. So a lot of people use this to watch like a scientific journal or to watch books and they didn't quite like the time it takes to load the pages. And I'm happy to tell you that there's almost no uh, loading time between each pages. As you can see I just downloaded this uh, PDF file and I've never uh, open these pages yet but as you can see as I flip through everything loads almost in instant time so it's just really nice feels almost as if you're just reading a book okay and then I would like to show you one of the strongest aspects of the Transformer Prime which is its game playing or 3D game playing capability so this is a game called the Riptide uh, a lot of people use this for demonstration because it really gives you a good idea of how the uh, the 3D rendering is in the Transformer Prime. So um, from the game you can see that all the backgrounds, all the water effect, and then just the whole movement, there's no lag. It's just a really, really nice experience. And this quality is almost on par with some of the console based gaming. Damn it, stop. Okay. Um, and as you can see, when I do the um, acceleration effect, you get this really nice blurring effect to give you the sense of the speed. And this, it's just a really, really nice game playing experience. Um, and but some people still complain the fact there's very little games available on the Tegra devices and that is true but I'm gonna show you today an app called the on life which is recently available for the Android system this is an app that allows you to play games that's not designed for the Tegra devices so I'm not exactly sure how it works but I think they do it by running the games on some other remote servers and just transfer the uh, the, the screen to your device. And um, to my surprise, the game playing has almost no lag. So it's not like you're connecting your computer to a um, splash top or some remote desktop devices. It's just really, really fast. And I'll show you that in a minute. And as you can see, it's a really cool app very futuristic 
and let's go into my games, find games, and uh, let's find a game that most of you have heard of. So there's Harry Potter, okay, Mini Ninjas, and you can see the ratings to see how people like it and when it was released. And um, and they have this nice thing that you can try the game before you purchase it. And you can also purchase a play pack bundle, which is it gives you unlimited um, choices of game, uh, unlimited uh, game playing time for all the games they have on the database for only nine ninety nine per month. So let's do a free trial to see if we like the game before we decide if we want to buy it. Okay, so the game's gonna load, um, and to my surprise, really really quickly. And as you can see, there's your uh, on-screen controller, and you can you even had the cho the choice to use a uh, console control like the PS3 or the Xbox to control the game as well. So as you can see, that's Mini Ninja. Select, select, play games. And as you can see, it's really fast, and it's almost as if the game is right on your device. Okay, and then the game is going to again load for about 30 seconds, and then we can start playing. And I'm sure that they will start importing a lot more games on here, and you can play games like the Batman Arkham City, or other popular games on your device. So as you can see here, when I move forward, it moves forwards instantly, move backwards, and the whole movement with the response is just really, really um, real time. So it might even be possible to play in the first person shooter games with this. Jump through I went down that. To speak with the we don't need to watch that. Okay. Next, next, next. Okay. So, see, we can move around, jump, 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 attack, attack, attack. So, it really feels as if the game is right on your tablets. It's really, really nice. And I think it's such a revolution to the mobile gaming um, world, if you will. The last thing I'd like to show you is an app called the Super Note. Uh, this is not really new to the Transformer, uh, to, the, to the Prime, but it's just a really nice app that I would like to show you. So um, this is, in my opinion, the best note-taking app in the world right now. Uh, so you can use conventional method to type your notes um, or you can do the scribble where you just uh, write down the notes without typing if you don't like to type and you can also insert things like the annotations which are like graphs and then you hit done to finish drawing and then you hit select this way you can adjust the size of your graph move it to the place you want it to be and then click done again and then you can also insert things like the timestamp so, uh, it records the time that this was taken or you can insert things like a photo and with the A megapixel camera on this thing the you can take truly detailed uh, pictures click OK and then you will see that the picture again you can move it and change its size you can even click on the brush thing and make uh, drawings or notes on the picture you just taken or even give it the name and then when you click done the whole thing with your drawing is going to be saved 
as one single pictures so you can e uh, e easily move it around and put it to the ideal place you like to be and that can really create a truly informational notes for your review and then there are also op other options like uh, recording a voice record or uh, including a video captures writing your notes which is, which is a really really powerful note taking app so that's about it for the uh, advantage Tegra 3 brings to the Transformer Prime I think it's such a big step towards the next um, mobile devices generations um, so that's it thank you very much